25 minutes slow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that it's 825? Precisely. Damn. I'm late for school. Strickland's looking for you. If you get caught, it'll be four tardies in a row. All right, come on. I think we're safe. You know, this time it wasn't my fault. The doc said all his clock's 25 minutes slow. Well, doc, I might understand you're still hanging around with Dr. Emmett Brown McFly. Tardy slip for you, Miss Parker. And one for you, McFly. I believe that makes four in a row. Now, let me give you Nichols with a free advice, young man. The so-called Dr. Brown is dangerous. He's a real nutcase. You hang around with him, you're going to end up in big trouble. Oh, yes, sir. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. Can I go now, Mr. Strickland? I notice your band is on the roster for the dance auditions after school today. Why even bother, McFly? You don't have a chance. You're too much like your old man. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Yeah, well, history is going to change. Rejection isn't the end of the world. Nah, I just don't think I'm cut out for music. But you're good, Marty. You're really good. And this audition tape of yours is great. You've got to send it into the record company. It's like Doc's saying. Yeah, I know, say. I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. That's good advice, Marty. All right, okay, Jennifer. What, what if I send in the tape and they don't like it? I mean, what if they say I'm no good? What if they say, get out of here, kid? You got no future. I mean, I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. Jesus, I'm starting to sound like my old man. Come on, he's not that bad. Oh, At least he's letting you borrow the car tomorrow the night. Tower, Check out that four by four. That is hot. Okay, back her up. Someday, Jennifer. Someday. Wouldn't it be great to take that truck up to the lake? Throw a couple of sleeping bags in the back? Lie out underneath the stars? Stop it. What? Does your mom know about tomorrow night? Ah, oh, get out of town. My mom thinks I'm going camping with the guys. Well, Jennifer, my mother would freak out if she knew I was going up there with you. And I get the standard lecture about how she never did that kind of stuff when she was a kid. I mean, look, I think the woman was born a nun. She's just trying to keep you respectable. Well, she's not doing a very good job. Terrible. Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Mayor Wilson is sponsoring an initiative to replace that clock. 
30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. We at the Hill Valley Preservation Society think it should be preserved exactly the way it is, as part of our history and heritage. There you go, lady. There's a quarter. Thank you. Don't forget to take a flyer. Right. Save the clock tower! Where were we? Right about here. Jennifer! It's my dad. Right. I've got to go. I'll call you tonight. Uh, I'll be at my grandma's. Here, let me give you the number. Bye. That's the power of love.